everyone. It is a beautiful day. Humid, it's a little sticky outside, but it's still a beautiful day. A great day to get outside and enjoy being alive. So let's get into the Word of God. I'm in Isaiah chapter 65, and I'm starting on verse 17. Here's what it says. Behold, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight, and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and of crying will be heard no more. Never again will there be in it an infant who, do, who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not live out his years. He who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere youth. He who fails to reach a hundred will be considered accursed. So what in the world is this talking about? It's talking about heaven. It's talking about that someday we're going to get to go to heaven. And when we get there, it's going to be new. It's going to be amazing. It says there won't be any crying. Did you realize that? You won't need to cry. There won't be any reason to cry. So I was thinking about all the reasons why I cry or people cry. They cry because they get hurt. They're sad. Crying over someone because they lost them. Either they died or they moved away or their friendship is no more or somebody said something mean or whatever reason. There won't be any reason to cry. There won't be any need to cry. You won't want to cry. You won't need to cry there'll be rejoicing. There'll be joy. That's so crazy. So when I think about it, I go, well, there's joy here. Like we get happy and we have things to rejoice over, right? But in heaven, every second, every second will be about rejoicing. Every day will be incredible. You won't have a second to be going, oh, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go do that. I don't want to be sick. I don't want this. I don't want that. You won't have that. Isn't that amazing? And just think, no more death. No more death. When you go to heaven, you'll never die. When you get to go to heaven, there no, nobody will be sick ever again. Nobody will die. No crying. Gosh, heaven's going to be amazing, isn't it? Isn't it going to be incredible? It's something to really look forward to. Now, there are a lot of things to look forward to here on earth, right? There's ball games. There's family vacations. There's birthdays. There's Christmas. There's Easter. There's whatever it is you're excited for but in heaven every second is excitement every day every second is something new and in incredible it's like being at Disney World have you ever been to Disney World I've been to Disney World Disney World is awesome but it's like being at Disney World and seeing everything but every day is Disney without all, all the walking and sore feet and yada, yada, yada. But it's amazing. It's the joy. It's going to be more incredible than Disney World, I can guarantee that. Because I have seen kids crying at Disney World. And I don't like um, roller coasters. I was really scared on the roller coasters. So I got on and then I got off because I was too scared. But you won't be afraid in heaven. Never. You'll never be afraid again. The joy of heaven is so exciting, so exciting. So let's pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the joys of heaven. Thank you for what you've told us in your word to prepare our hearts and our minds for what you have planned for us. In your very precious name, amen. Okay, so at Halloween, we had an activity. I don't know, some of you may remember, we did an activity night. So we had all kinds of different things that we did. We had little games that we played, like we did the mummy wrap, where somebody got wrapped up with toilet paper like a mummy. That was a lot of fun. Then we had the eat a grape out of a Dixie cup and all you could use was your mouth. You couldn't use your hands. You couldn't, you had to figure out how to get the grape out of the Dixie cup. Some people were pretty ingenious and you couldn't pick up the cup with your mouth and then tip it back to drop it. You had to keep the cup on the table. And then there was the eating of a donut with no hands. You remember that one? That was a lot of fun. But the one that I received the most comments about, the most joy was the hide and seek. But remember, it wasn't you hiding and seeking. <laughs> you had to find the one candle <clears throat> that would light up. And I had, I don't know if you remember this, I had this whole tray. This is a whole tray. Looks like wax, but it's a whole tray of these candles. It's full of them. That's all that's in here is this tray of candles. So this was all full, and I set out all of these candles around the room, and there's probably about 75, maybe 50 to 75 of these candles. And I set them out all over the room, and you guys had to run around, and you had to find the one out of all of them that lit up. So it's got a little battery pack on the bottom with a little switch. So you hit the switch. Hmm, that didn't work. So let's try this one. You see this one? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a battery in that one. Turned on. And can you see it? There it goes, it all, it's lit up. And this one here is still on and it didn't light up. So we had to, it was like a hide and seek. Now we did this in the dark, it was semi-dark, not like dark, 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 semi-dark, because if you picked them up, you would see the battery on the bottom, but you wanted to light them up. So it was a fun activity, and then you could play it over and over again, and we just had somebody hide in a new spot, the one that lit up, and then everybody would run around and try and find the one that lit up. Great activity, lots of fun, and it reminds us of the light of Christ and how Jesus came to this earth and opened the gates of heaven for us so that when we leave this earth, we get to go to heaven and we get to experience the amazing joy that will be found there. No more crying, no more dying, no more sickness, no more pain joy, peace, and love. Love you all. Bye.